violence. Well, we've all seen the reports by now of Ukraine and the political class literally loving the doom and gloom that comes with it. Spoiler alert, it's a load of codswallop. Obviously, many of you know this, but it's been proven once again today by the utter joke of an article we've got here talking about a ridiculous virtue signalling plan for a diversity day on the 8th of February for our armed forces. Yes, you heard that right. Despite apparently knocking on the door of war, the top brass of our armed forces think inclusivity and all of this nonsense is the most important issue right now. Of course, using gender-inclusive language makes you a more effective fighting force and better able to beat trained enemy soldiers who have not been barraged with woke bullshit. Clearly, it's completely insane, but apparently that is what's going to be happening in just a few days, and guess what? It's all thanks to a conservative minister, Ben Wallace. Yep, the so-called right-wing Tories are forcing yet more woke nonsense on the country, which has me asking Tory voters in what way are they different to Labour, because they seem one and the same to me. Anyway, enough of all that, the Telegraph have headlined this, Army Plans Diversity Training Day for Soldiers as Ukraine Tensions Escalate. Non-essential work on February 8th put on ice as soldiers to take part in courses to improve cultural and inclusivity awareness in armed forces. So yet again, just a bunch of woke bullshit, which let's be honest, most of this is gonna be. It says a training day for Army on culture and inclusion will see a complete stop of non-essential work as the situation in Ukraine intensifies. The last bit there don't really matter. General Sir Mark Carlton Smith, the Chief of the General Staff, has made it clear that he will no longer tolerate unacceptable behaviour or out-of-date practices. The training day due to take place on February 8th will address concerns but not limited to drug and alcohol abuse, sexual harassment, bullying and racism of course. All army personnel not on operational duty or other essential work have been directed to watch a number of internally produced videos and conduct discussion groups to facilitate reflections on the army's culture. Obviously the same sort of shit that the BBC are spending £100 million on and you see infecting the NHS and literally everything else that's related to the government or that they control. The only places you rarely see this sort of shit is private businesses because they know woke bullshit doesn't make money. Of course, when it comes to the army or anything like the ones we've been talking about, they don't care about where the money comes from because it's just coming from you and they'll spunk it up the wall on whatever they want. The BBC is exactly the same in that. Obviously, if the so-called Tories were right-wing, this sort of shit would never be happening, but then again, you already know that they're not. Boris Johnson's already said it's okay to be woke, and let's never forget when he said this. But also that we're building back better together, and and building back greener, and building back fairer, and building back more equal, and uh, how shall I, in, more, in, in, in a more gender-neutral and perhaps like a more feminine way. How about that, apart from anything else? Now obviously this is just a complete waste of time, but I did think it was worth pointing out that it's actually happening, while it also shits all over the Ukraine bullshit that's covering the news cycle at the moment. Here, though, at least at the end of the article, we do hear from one former colonel who actually points out this is just a load of bollocks. It says Colonel Richard Kemp, the former head of British Armed Forces in Afghanistan, criticised the plan, telling the Sun it was navel-gazing and a virtue-signalling exercise, which is 100% spot on. I'm sure if any of you have seen this before I made this video, you literally thought the same thing and likely laughed at the stupidity of it, not only because it's dumb as fuck, but also because it shits on the narrative about Ukraine. Let's be honest, if there was war on the horizon, the army wouldn't be worried about doing this shit, no matter how woke any minister or indeed the top brass wanna be.